Okay, so let's take a look at this example with the actual numbers. Say we want to produce a type of product, and if we do it in-house, we have variable costs that breaks down to materials, to labor costs, we talked about in the first three chapters, variable overhead. All together, you tell me how much variable cost is there if we produce it in-house. We have $75,000 if we produce it in-house. This is the variable cost part. And we have fixed cost, 50000 So this is producing in-house. What about outsource? Obviously, we don't have any variable cost on producing it. We just have, perhaps, portion of fixed cost, meaning after we outsource it, if we want to package it with other products, let's say, and together that whole set becomes the final product for customer's purchase, we perhaps need also some types of machines to combine it together with other products, for example. So $40,000 here, and we need, of course, the purchase cost to purchase the final product from others. All together here from this example, the total cost for outsourcing actually is higher, right? We purchase a part of that product, but we still need to, some portion we still need to manufacture it, still costs us 40000 So if we stop over here, can you tell me how much is the avoidable cost for fixed costs if we produce it in-house or take it elsewhere? Avoidable is $10,000, but we still have unavoidable costs, which means it's still there regardless of purchasing, uh, producing it in-house or take it out. We still have $40,000 there. Okay, so the purchase price, the price that we're paying others is $92,500. The price that we are still paying, even though we still outsource. Even though we outsource, we're still using fixed overhead, $40,000. Altogether, this is actually more than producing it in-house. So the decision making here will be still produce it in-house because this is too much. The purchase price that we're using, $92,000, covers the variable cost, but it doesn't cover fixed cost. Okay? Remember that we have something else to consider, too. This is just considering the purchase price, $92,500. We s if we take it out, remember, we still have some free space or other machinery that will be idle. So what if we do something about that portion and decide to actually make some profit out of it? In that case, this will not be a hundred